Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. If you use this promo code for a discount between January 16th, 2023 and February 10th, 2023, you will automatically be entered into a sweepstakes where you could win a Brothers War set booster box. There's also another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to this special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again to count down the top 10 cards of the week. And we look at cards that are moving percentage-wise quite a bit over the course of the week, and cards that are seeing an increase in the amount of sales. Now, as you know, there's been a lot going on this week. Last week, we saw a big leak for Phyrexia ob one This week, we have the true previews happening. And that information is moving some card prices, but there's a lot of other things happening in the secondary market as well. You're going to see that in today's video. A couple things before we get started, though. First, I want to thank one of the viewers. MTG Ghoul Dude gave a super thanks during last week's top 10 video. And those super thanks tips are always appreciated. Never expected, though. But thank you, MTG Ghoul Dude. And secondly, as you know, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Phyrexia All Will Be One products there. Plus, they have a whole lot of other things on their website. Remember, for orders over $100 or consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the Heroes promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Mirror Turbine. This goes up $1.06 to four thirty one this week. That's a 33% increase. If you have been watching those Phyrexia All Will Be One previews, you know that Mirror are back and they're in the set. And sure, this might be a good upgrade to one of the new Commander decks, Rebellion Rising, but the main reason this is jumping as much as it is ties into a card that's been leaked, but not yet officially previewed. I won't go into a lot of detail since it is a leak, but if you want to avoid spoilers completely, just move on to the next card now. Okay, assuming the leak is real, there is a Phyrexia all be one Eternal Legal card coming that happens to be a Legendary Mirror, and it appears to be a solid commander for the tribe with 5 color color identity. The card is called Urtet Remains a Memnarch if you want to look it up. Many are already thinking about building around this in Commander, and that is why Mer Turbine is so hot right now. Number 9 is Loran of the Third Path, up $1.36 to $7.44, that's a 22% increase. This relatively new card from the Brothers War is showing up in a lot of decks in a lot of different formats already. In Standard, this is in Mono White Midrange and much more in Modern, this is in Death and Texas sideboards. Maybe the biggest reason it's moving like this though is that it's showing up in Legacy and Vintage decks too. It is in the popular initiative builds in both of those formats, and it's in Legacy Death and Taxes now too. Plus this is getting a lot of commander play in various decks, including a new one around a card from Jumpstart 2022 at times, Preston the Vanisher. Number 8 is Moloch. This goes up $1.41 to $5.44. That's a 35% increase, and this is from the Warhammer 40k Tyranid Swarm Commander deck. No surprise that this has been seeing some commander play, but it is now starting to show up in legacy builds, like Food Chain at times. We'll have to see if this does stick in the format, but the gameplay has led to some spec on the card. Also, this could play well in the future with one of the cards previewed from Phyrexia All Will Be One. I could see this in the 99 of Commander decks along with Luca Bound to Ruin. Number 7 is Leeches. This goes up $1.58 to $13.47. That's a 13% increase. This reserve list Homelands card has been hot ever since we started learning about Phyrexia All Will Be One. We knew from early previews that Poison Counters would be making a comeback there, and that was only reaffirmed by the massive card leak that occurred last week, and now the official previews that we're seeing this week. Also, one of the new Commander decks coming out has a focus on Poison Counters, it's Corrupting Influence. Currently now, this card doesn't see much play to speak of, but many are speculating on it now that Phyrexia All Will Be One draws closer. Number 6, Blast Furnace Hellkite. This goes up 250 to 549. That's an 84% increase. This is from the Mishra's Burnish Banner Commander deck, and it is showing up in a good amount of Commander decks old and new. It's quickly become a popular addition to Commander Dragon Tribal decks. Number 5, AC Tyrant of Gyre Strait. This goes up 281 this week to 1563. That's a 22% increase. This one is from the Commander Legends Reap the Tide Commander deck, and it only comes in foil. It is seeing more commander play now and builds around a new card from Jumpstart 2022, Knesso's Priest of Thassa. 
Number four is Grinding Station. This goes up 635 this week to 34.97. That's a 22% increase. This is in the Grinding Station Underworld Breach Modern decks, of course, but there is a new modern build running this that is catching on. It's a Semblance Anvil combo deck, and Aspiring Spike has been featuring it on YouTube and Twitch this week. Additionally, this card gets some commander play in a number of builds, including Mariah Scholar of Antiquity, but this jump is really all about modern. Number three is Cityscape Leveler. This goes up 708 this week to 1882. That's a 60% increase. Another card from the Brothers War that is broken into a number of formats. In Standard, this is in Isn't Control and more. In Pioneer, this is now typically found as a one of in the sideboard of the popular Nykthos Ramp decks. In Modern, this is in Mono Green Tron. In fact, one of those builds running two copies of this came in six last week in an MTGO Modern Showcase Challenge. And this is also in other builds in Modern too. Plus, this has found its way into several Commander decks, old and new. Even shows up at times and builds around a new card from Jumpstart 2022, Kibo Uktabi Prince. Number two is Hidden Gibbons, up 805 this week to 1181. That's a 214% increase if you're doing the math at home. This is an older card that's yet to see a reprint, and it's also getting more Commander play now in Kibo Uktabi Prince builds. Additionally, this shows up in decks in the pre-modern format, and that format has been impacting card prices more recently. And finally, coming in at number one this week is City of Traders, up 4310 to $349.50. That's a 14% increase. This card gets a lot of legacy play in a number of decks, including the popular Mono White Initiative builds. Many players are trying to put that deck together, and sure, it's a legacy deck, so a lot of the cards are at least kind of expensive, but this is the biggest card financially that you find in most builds. Also, the added attention brings more spec to the card as well. Beyond that, it's in a variety of commander decks, including at times a new one, Slicer Hired Muscle, which is one of the Transformers cards from the Brothers War, but Commander is not the key driver here this time. All right, that's going to do it for our top 10 hot cards of the week. But remember to join us this weekend for our regular episode of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch, where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. Until then, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.